Hello everyone, welcome to another episode on It's Time. On this episode, I'll be sharing with you five great business characters or characteristics of Nigerian business people. As you may know, this channel is dedicated to entrepreneurship, is dedicated to business and making money on the African continent. On one of our last episodes, I talked about some lessons we can learn from the Lebanese doing business in Africa. I think the Nigerians are the salt of Africa and they make a big difference and make Africa even better. I know that what I talk, what I'm going to be talking about may not necessarily apply to every single Nigerian, but when you put them together, it's a common trait that we all can agree with. Nigeria can boast of the richest man in Africa. Not just that, it can also boast of, of many other rich people in Africa. For Africa to be a great continent, we need to learn from each other and we need to take the positive traits that we can share or we can learn from this continent. It's easy for us to point out the negatives of a people, but I think the positives are all we should care about because we need to learn from those. The first trait I would say is Nigerians in general think big. It may be that they come from a very large country and for that reason, to stand out, you need to do something bigger. However, I think that for a very long time, Africans have suffered from doing small or playing small. Nigerians, on the other hand, don't do small. They play really big and we need to learn from that. A typical example is Dangote deciding that he wants to build the largest oil refinery in the world. Not the largest oil refinery in Africa, but the largest oil refinery in the world. A lot of us go into business and sometimes our desire is that the business can give us our bread and butter. But for Africa to rise and for us to influence our societies, we really need to think like the Nigerians. These guys really think big. When they build houses or they do anything, they really think big. Thinking big is one of the most important traits of every entrepreneur. So I started a small business, but my goal is I want to become the largest retailer in Africa. To do that, it may take a number of steps. It may take me many years, but thinking and dreaming big and acting big is free. And so let's not think small. This is one of the most positive things you and I can learn from the Nigerians. Because Nigerians think big, they are not afraid of big things. It may seem scary for many people, but typically Nigerians will not shake. They are going to walk in and try their best at succeeding. The second character of Nigerians in general. Nigerians are amongst the most confident people on this continent. Their confidence is immeasurable. Their confidence makes them unafraid and sometimes it makes them come across as cocky or as arrogant. But I think when you look carefully, you find that Nigerians are more confident than arrogant. They are not afraid and for that reason, they come in more confidently. If there's a project and it seems like it's not going to go well, if you have Nigerian on the team, you are rest assured that he's going to say, don't worry, and it's going to work. I think that every entrepreneur needs a great deal of confidence to be able to win a deal or not be looked over by anybody. And I think that if we learn this trait from the Nigerians, we are going to build a stronger continent because we are going to meet other people from other, around the world and we are not going to be shaken. Nigerians step out, they want to show off, they want to challenge and show that they have something to contribute. And I don't think that that's arrogance. I think that that's being smart and confident. Confidence sometimes comes out as arrogance, but that's your problem. It's not their problem to worry about what you are thinking of them. And I love that about the Nigerians. The other trait you cannot ignore but admire about Nigerians is they love education. They love to go to school. They love to acquire knowledge. And knowledge is one of the most important things for every entrepreneur. I mean, if you have knowledge, you have power. And you find that in a place like America that accommodates many, many people from all walks of life and all countries to come and study in America, 
the immigrant community has Nigerians being on top, you'd find that not the Asians, the Nigerians tend to form the majority of the people who come to acquire knowledge. And for that reason, they are, most Nigerians are very knowledgeable in many, many things. If they are educated, they are very, very educated. And for that reason, they are able to enter in, they are able to get into every sphere of endeavor, every business industry, you would find Nigerians going to the top. And that makes me proud of these African people because knowledge is power. The Bible says, if there's anything you would like to seek in this world, seek knowledge. Knowledge is really one of the things that you and I need to acquire to be able to do our businesses more effectively. On the same train, Dangote says, I never go into any business venture unless I understand. Once I understand, I would give it a shot. Knowledge is power. And once you have knowledge, you are more likely to succeed. Shooting in the dark, going blindly is not a great trait. It means you are ignorant and you are just playing the fool. But if we really want to build an amazing African continent, we need to put knowledge on top of everything we do. It is sad that people think that if you want to trick an African or you want to hide something from an African, keep it in a book. But this generation is not going to be the same. My generation, your generation, we are going to be the smartest Africans you could ever meet because we value knowledge. I think we need to learn that from the Nigerians and we will build a better continent together. The next character, Nigerians in general are very competitive. They love to fight for who goes to the top. And that means that if you make a million dollars from doing a business, they seek to make $10 million. They don't settle or they don't rest on their oars. They ensure that they fight to win. There's this saying that says, Nigerno de carry last. And it's one of the most interesting statements that we all need to adopt. I am a Ghanaian and I would say, Ghana no de carry last. But it's not just saying, but it means we need to act that way and behave that way. If we really want to build world-class businesses that succeed and that beats the world, we really need to go for this character of the Nigerians. Because if we want to carry last, then too bad, we are not going to make it. But I really think that I and you need to take the slogan, Niger no de carry last, Ghana no de carry last, Uganda no de carry last, and let's make Africa proud. The very last reason I love Nigerians is they celebrate success. When you are successful in any endeavor, especially in business, your business is doing well, you're making money, you're helping others, they are doing more philanthropy and all other things. I think that Nigerians are the people who would definitely celebrate success. They enjoy celebrating success. Once you are successful, you are the toast of the town. Even academic success, they don't joke with it. And so I just want to say, if we really want to thrive in Africa, we need to build a culture of celebrating success, just like the Nigerians. If you're a Nigerian, I think that you have these amazing traits that most of us Africans admire. And we're not just going to be learning from the Lebanese or the Jews, but we think we should learn this from you. Feel proud and be proud that you make a difference in Africa. I am so proud of you. And on this episode, I show my respect to successful Nigerian business people and Nigerian business culture. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to the channel and let's learn some ways of making entrepreneurship one of the best things we can ever do and how to be self-sufficient. COVID-19 has shown us that being self-sufficient is more important than depending on other countries. Today, we are not getting imports into Africa, but we are coping. But we need to go beyond that. We need to create businesses that produce the basic things that we need. Things like toothpicks should not be things that we import. We should definitely be making our own equipments, our ventilators, all the things we need. And to do that, we think we need a Nigerian spirit. The spirit that says you can do it. Believe in yourself. Be confident. 
have knowledge and go for it. Thank you for watching this episode and see you in the next one.